Some people might suggest that the former royal Prince Harry is nothing more than something of a huge big crybaby. Seemingly when you read his book Spare, all you really see is his problems with his elder brother Prince William and how he had opportunities and how Harry felt, well quite frankly, as the title of his book said, was Spare. In that book, of course, though we now know he trashed senior members of his own family for financial gain. Whether this was his story or not, certain things don't need to be put into print, do they not? And then, of course, if you remember, well, <laughs> the son of Her Majesty the Queen, Queen Camilla, well, rightly so, defended his mother on national air. That's right, Tom Parker Bowles basically said he didn't know where these stories came from and it wasn't like that at all. This was all regarding Camilla's desperate push allegedly from Harry for publicity and manipulation of the UK media, etc. Now, according to a very good source, as we now know as Christmas approaches and His Majesty the King organises, some might suggest, a radically different royal Christmas, but not too radically different. What we're now seeing for the very first time, of course, are the Queen, Queen Camilla's uh, children and grandchildren attending, as rightly so, members of the family. Now, according to that well-placed source, Harry and Meghan were keen to reconnect at some point. And this is where the story gets really interesting, particularly around the festive season. You see, if you think about it, it's a quick in and out, isn't it? You know, pop up on Christmas Day, pick up all the publicity at the church and then zip off a little bit like the coronation. Things took a turn for the worse, though, for Prince Harry when he found out the new, shall we say, family arrangements. Not only that, you may have read in the media that apparently, because there are so many new adjustments to that, and Sandringham isn't as big as people might suspect, that certain people are going to have to club up, etc. Now, that was also something of a turning point. Now, let's just be clear. Harry and Meghan were trying to get an invite. There was no open invite. What happened was His Majesty the King said, you're always welcome. But as ever, he wanted details and times so that he could plan accordingly. What happened was, as ever, Harry and Meghan couldn't really commit Omin and Arin, a little bit like, of course, the coronation. So His Majesty the King decided to organise it for him. Hence the reason, once again, Harry and Meghan allegedly quickly retracted. But given he spoke so badly about Queen Camilla, never mind his father King Charles, can you imagine literally pulling a turkey wishbone over the table with Tom Parker Bowles? Not a clever move for doing that really, was it Prince Harry? Neil Sean in the very heart of London.